Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, some of you have asked me to talk about you know after using the uh, MLA 30 mega loop what I uh, do I still stand behind this and do I still think it's an amazing antenna for shortwave listeners and also of course I did get some questions of people asking me uh, still you know is this better than a long wire? Is this better than whatever? Um, so here's the thing, okay? And, and we're gonna be, we're gonna be. Um, I'm gonna really talk very fair of this antenna compared to other alternatives. There's a lot of observations that I've seen from you guys that, of course, have purchased this and commented. There's personal observations of things that I've noticed. And uh, basically, first of all, <clears throat> the uh, a lot of what I praise on this antenna is the fact that it's really inexpensive for something that really does a nice job at receiving shortwave and medium wave signals. And um, <clears throat> basically, the good points of the MLA30 is that for a decent price, 40 ish US dollars, you're getting an antenna that's really going to get shortwave signals, and you are going to uh, have good reception with this antenna. But of course, that doesn't mean it's the best antenna out there. It's not my purpose to say that, or to, it's not what I mean when I actually say that this is a great antenna. If you live in a quiet environment, so say you live in the middle of the forest and you could put 200 feet of wire in the forest and there's no noise around you, that 200 feet of wire will beat an MLA-30. That is for sure. Um, a lot of the, the, the deception, a lot of the people disappointed at the MLA-30, I think... Um, comes from the fact that some of you do have very quiet environments and have a long wire outside that already performs really well. And you get the MLA-30 and you're like, well, you know, it's not better. It's well, Actually, maybe it's not even as good as my long wire. Yes, because that's the thing. This is for a specific audience, honestly. It is not the best antenna you'll get, but it is the best antenna depending on the circumstances where you live. I live in the middle of a big city. Um, noise here is what is dominant. This helps me get more signal than a regular long wire. I got a sloper in the backyard that isn't used right now. Why? Because it just has so much noise. And this loop has enabled me to get some of the signals that I was not even hearing or barely hearing on the sloper. So this is really for a eye noise environment. This is the antenna to get. It's not a magic antenna. Once again, it's not a miracle antenna. I still got a lot of noise here, but it improved what we call the signal to noise ratio. It makes the signals that were barely audible, audible again for me. And that has actually improved my shortwave listening somewhat here in Montreal because I get signals that I couldn't get before. Um, for those asking me how, is it's, how it's faring the weather and being outside and the cold and the rain and the snow and the ice, and the, it's working great. I actually have nothing to complain about, uh, nothing to say really about. And um, it works perfectly for me. Some of you, of course, are comparing the MLA-30 to some more expensive loops like uh, Wellbrook or a W6LVP. One of the odd reservations I can give is that I have less noise on the MLA-30 than the W6LVP for some reason. Um, you know, when the nice weather comes back there are some changes there are things i want to try including uh moving the w6 lvp 
and seeing if I can get a better uh, signal out of it. From what I see is that the MLA30 and W6 LVP perform very, very close to um, the same performance each. Uh, one wins slightly in certain frequencies. The MLA30 wins on others. Where I seem to see a bigger difference is in the lower frequencies. I sometimes tune around 160 meters on my W6 LVP loop and seem to get stronger signals from 160 meters. Now I got a filter so I can't listen to medium wave but I suspect that a W6 LVP might be a better performer and uh, medium wave long wave band than the MLA30. Unfortunately I can't test that. The um, MLA30 we know there's uh, isn't that great in the long wave band. A lot of people say that it drops off quite rapidly below 500 kilohertz. But it's a decent and very directional performer for medium wave. As for comparing it to a Bolbrook, I've seen a lot of reports. I've seen some people say that they don't see much of a difference. I've seen some of you try it and give the Wellbrook a um, advantage. So uh, that is to look at. But what I say here is mainly that I, you know, I personally will never buy a three or four or five hundred dollar antenna ever, ever again. And that, what I mean when I talk about the MLA 30 is simply for 40 US dollars, you're getting a really good antenna. And I would say that this does say one thing is that antennas like the Wellbrook and the W6 LVP are way overpriced for what they are. And uh, they could be lower in price. And honestly, in terms of how long they're going to last, uh, you know what? Mine is going through winter. It's uh, many months now that I've been using it. I always will say one thing is that even if the MLA 30 would, you know, last a year, you can buy 10 of them. So 10 years and I have 10 years of antennas before you actually reach the price of a, a Wellbrook or a W6 LVP. So this is my personal opinion. I know some of you are not necessarily, uh, you know, in, uh, in sync with what I have to say, but uh, my personal observations are that, and um, if you want to have an antenna that works great, MLA 30 is pretty good. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.